guys welcome back to the channel we got ruby parked outside so today is a super exciting day guys we are not going to be driving ruby today uh, i couldn't find the keys for her i wanted to take her today but unfortunately i couldn't so we're taking the truck the daily truck but we are on our way to check out a shop so if you guys don't know um i think i mentioned it earlier in one of my previous videos when i talked about the z that um, my whole living situation is changing up so i need to move out currently from where i'm at soon very soon and my biggest obstacle is finding a place where i can continue uh, working on cars so that was my biggest issue i was trying so hard to find a house that had a big two car garage that i could rent out in the meantime but you know like times are tough right now instead started looking for a shop found one semi-local here it's only like 10 minutes away from where i live so we're on our way to go check it out so you guys will see that when we get there all right right here we have my cousin this g parked in the back and then right here we have the lot where we're going to be checking this out all right so here we have the shot space that's going to be technically available for here so I think this is the guy's van so i'm gonna call him up see where he's at and we can check it out all right so here we have wilson was it yeah. yeah yeah okay yeah so here we have wilson he's the guy that's gonna be leasing me the shop space right here Almost all out. yeah Shit. You probably have at least two cars in here no problem yeah yeah for sure. So there's a spot basically would be. So that's the only spot that I know leaks. Come on top. You can go up on the roof of a fucking can of car or something and just, you can yeah. see just from that fucking. Yeah, yeah, I see it. Tree. And then up here we have quite a bit of storage space. Make a little lounge, put a TV up here or something, couch. So we are finally back at the shop. It is a day. It, I think today's the first. Today's no. Today's the day before the first. Before I officially, the shop is mine. But it looks like the people are already cleared out. So I'm here to clean up a bunch of mess that they left behind. So, all right. So here we are. It's a little cleaner than what it was. I was here yesterday as well, and then. Um, Basically, the only things they left behind is this like counter sink, whatever thing that they that what they would do with uh, installing inside the vans or whatever. It's got like a little mini fridge or something like that. So this I'm not gonna take out until tomorrow. I'll probably put it on that pallet that they left behind. That Miata be kind of belongs to the shop right here. I don't know why they put it right here, but that's where it's at. But yeah, this I'm gonna probably take out tomorrow. But for now, to right now, what we're gonna be doing is cleaning up a lot of this sawdust and dust basically that's literally everywhere around the shop so i want to clean up as much as i can and clean up the walls as well uh everything's pretty dusty this they left behind as well but i'm actually going to probably end up using this cleaning it cleaning it up as well because there's sawdust on this thing too I'll probably put this under the stairway over there and I'll probably put all the power tools, heat guns, drills, and all that in here. And then these benches, most likely I am going to get rid of. They're attached to the wall. I'm not sure exactly how, but I'm probably just going to tear these apart. Because I'd rather just have something that looks nicer than this. And also, we are going to be painting the walls. I went to Home Depot yesterday. Uh, chipped off a little bit of the paint on one of the areas got matching close to matching paint so we're going to be getting rid of the blue stripe right here and painting from the blue stripe down all that same like nardo gray that it looks like and then i got a gallon of the top paint so we're not going to be repainting the whole top end but there's like a lot of parts where it's missing paint so i want to patch all that up make it look nice and then 
we are gonna be removing these two posts just so we can have uh, another car right here and we're gonna be putting another support beam. So it's gonna grab on from the bottom and support itself from the top. I'll figure out how to do that later, but that's what the plan is for that. Then right here, I have a bunch of stuff that I picked up. So, more touch of paint. Big ass broom to sweep up. Swifter duster <laughs> with the wet towels. And then they left, they did leave this desk that I'm probably just gonna use. Probably uh, get a laptop or a computer and actually use this. They ended up building this little part of it. Looks like this little wall was was part of it and then they added this just to like enclose it. And then the door for it is somewhere up there, but up there as well, I need to sweep up, make sure everything's all cleaned up as much as we can. And this is gonna be trash, trash. And then get rid of these, get rid of these airlines that they left behind. Cause they, I guess they had a compressor sit, sitting somewhere over here. And then they just cut cut off the end. So they basically made it useless. So, you know, I don't really use airlines for much. All right, so as you guys can see, been sweeping up a lot of this mess. Had to really use this one instead of that one because that one wasn't really working that well, but uh, that one worked a lot better. As you guys can see, all nice and clean, all dirty. So gotta finish up this half and then I can start mopping up uh, the floors as I was Sweeping, I, I ended up cleaning up the walls areas first, all the way from back here, swept it all the way across, down the stairs. Uh, using the broom to wipe down the walls as well because they were pretty dusty. I can't reach up there. You kind of see a line that goes right there as far up as I could reach. So this bottom half got dusted down. The top half is still dusty, but I'm pretty sure that's, you're not really gonna be able to see that unless I point it out like I just did. Almost done sweeping and then we just mop and then wipe down the floors. I need to bring my drills so I can get this piece of wood out of here. And then we can start taping off the walls and paint the bottom section. And then retouch up the paint on the, a lot of the top areas like that. All right, so here we are back home. Ruby finally gonna be parked inside. That purple, see that? We got Manny's car from Chicago. We got this car that we just did a full wire tuck and engine bay transformation. Swapped up the timing cover and everything. But yeah, I have, literally have tools everywhere, but I see the drill that I need, which is this one. And I just need my drill bits and the battery, which is right here. So yeah, hopefully I have all this mess organized once we're in the shop, because once, you know, I have a mess out here just because of the fact that, um, you know, I can't really put anything anywhere and I can't leave it out here because then uh, the condensation kind of messes everything up. So I kind of like basically stuff everything onto where I can. But now with the shop, we'll have everything nice and organized. All right, so we got everything taped up now. Isaac's here helping me out and paint. So everything basically laid in so we can paint this whole bottom section. You guys can see it's missing a lot of paint on the bottom side. So that's why we're gonna give it a whole solid color all the way through. No more blue. Obviously it looks, the blue looks a lot more bigger because of the blue tape. But yeah, so we're gonna get started on paint. Got the camera, time lapse, let's go. Look at that. Oh yeah. So no more blue. Fresh paint still on the bottom. So we're trying to be careful. 
Look at that difference. Look at that compared to, I don't know, the random blue. Kind of look, just looks off with the random blue. That looks a hell of a lot better. I did touch up, up some of the top, but right now I'm peeling off the tape. We have to touch up some of the parts where the tape took off the paint. So not bad. Definitely, definitely digging it. Thursday, LED bulbs arrive, and then I'll be replacing those. Because these, yeah, this one's missing two, and then the other two are out. <laughs> so there we have it. Super, super excited because today is officially the day february 1st today's the day i finally the shop is mine it's all mine now so the landlord uh from over there just text me saying like oh like you know place is all yours good to go it's all cleared out you know and fucking um he was like yeah you know i wish you the best in your business so super excited i can't wait i'm gonna get some lunch and then i'll start organizing all this stuff and then later today i'm gonna uh, ask my dad to see if i could borrow his big box truck it has like a little uh, tailgate that goes up and down so I could load up my toolboxes and you know, makes everything a lot easier instead of having to actually, um, <laughs> what do you call it, carry all that stuff because the toolboxes are extremely heavy. So paint is all dried up now. I need to touch up in here, but I will do that later. But today I'm doing is mopping down the whole floor. I ended up buying some epoxy concrete paint. So it's basically gonna be almost the same color as the walls. Just a little bit more shinier i think it's satin a uh, satin finish whereas this is kind of like a i guess they have not satin but it's like one level right below it so it's gonna be the floor is gonna be a little bit shiny as how you guys can see the reflection on the light just like that it's gonna be in a gray finish so that's what we're gonna be doing so right now i just finished sweeping the whole thing again for like the fifth time uh and then right now just mop it down swifter duster whatever the hell this is Got it from uh, Home Depot. All right, so here we have it. Concrete garage, one part epoxy coating. And slate gray. So let's get to it. I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna put up the camera, time lapse. So we are back. Looks like it's all dried up now. Looking definitely, definitely so much nicer than what it was. All right, so it is moving day. I just got this box truck that we're gonna be loading everything in else in here. And we got the rest of the stuff back there. And uh, my toolbox are over there. So we're gonna load those at the end. You know, strap them up here to the side. But everything else we're gonna load up to the back I'm trying to get everything in one trip so hopefully we have enough room oh we got majority of the stuff loaded up these are like half of the rolls of wrap that i have in my room but everything else loaded up bumpers headlights wheels full toolboxes my carts more stands a lot of this stuff ended up staying but for now, we are done with the major part of it. But here we are at the shop, looking nice. We got Georgie here helping me out. Dale, dale. Keep going. Keep going. Dale. Stop. All right, just got the little load and unload ramp that we're gonna be using to get the toolboxes out. That's the heaviest part out of all this. So we're gonna wanna get the toolboxes somewhere in the corner back over there. LED bulbs finally arrived, so we're gonna be fixing uh, these four, and then these we're gonna be swapping these bulbs as well. I think this one, yeah, this one's missing two, and the rest of them are just normal bulbs. So we're gonna have brighter, bright white LEDs instead top ones you know we'll figure out later 
I am gonna get the order of those hexagon lights for this whole middle middle section right here after it passes like the gate because I don't want them uh, I don't want them to get damaged if the gate ever we ever have to open it up all the way or something. All right, so we are done loading, unloading everything. So tomorrow we'll organize. It's funny how it looked like it was a lot at my place. Well, I mean, I did leave a little bunch of stuff behind. That's probably gonna get thrown away, but toolboxes in the back over there and then wheels right here and stuff like that. You know, organize all this stuff. Uh, all these crates, I'm probably gonna put them in that shelf area back there. I need to bring more rolls of wrap. Bunch of the body panels I left up top. But other than that, looks like about it. What is that? Oh, we forgot the turbos for Ruby. So, you know, soon we'll be doing that as well. I just need to make sure I have everything I need before I go turbo. But LED bulbs are here as well. Yeah, there we go. So see that? Bright LED replacements so we don't have these uh, normal yellow bulbs. That's the true color right there that you guys are seeing now. But when I zoom out, get out of focus, they look a little bit whiter. But just imagine with bright white LEDs, it's gonna look super nice, especially since this area right here, all four of them are out. All right, so we're taking the rest of the last bit of stuff that I have and all the rest of the rolls are wrapped right here. So we got a bunch of rolls of wrap that hopefully they don't fly out in the freeway right now, but 10 minute drive, let's head out and then we'll start organizing the shop. So we are just about done. Everything that was at home over here now so we got these wheels to here. These might be leaving soon or sometime next week. I'm not sure. They're up for sale. So and I have one potential buyer. Spare wheels. I'm going to keep them down here because I know I always need them. And I don't want to like be dragging them from up there, bringing them down below. Jacks are right here. Paint, I'm just using that to kind of get up here. So we still need to do the wiring for those. But uh, I'm going to get to that towards the end. But for now, everything else is organized. You know, putting up little things that my little push cart I'm going to be using for whenever I do uh, little projects that are like going to be right here. So whatever tools I need, I just load them up on this, push it over here. That way I don't have to be walking back and forth all the way out here. We got Mishimoto uh, radiator, my two turbos, set of tail lights, and then we got my first toolbox, Alpha Rex headlights, one of my wide body spec uh, lips up on top. And then we got this brand new toolbox that we have here. And we put a Motordyne decal. I have a white one as well from when uh, my cousin bought his Motordyne. So I need to figure out where to put that white one. And then just a little rack right here with airlift uh, management, some compressors, the caliper, my wrapping tools that I'm probably going to organize in this because this thing is completely empty. I have nothing in here yet. Brand new. So extension wire. And then this one is plugged into the wall, which has... Uh, outlets right here all throughout including through the, some usb so I'll, I'll probably buy a speaker or something like that all the rolls are wrapped color coded or color organized so it starts with black gray white to the blues and so on so that looks pretty dope once i have uh these lights put in you know um it'll look a hell of a lot better like i said these are yellowish I can zoom in, yeah, so they're not really bright white, they're just yellow. That's the real color of them right there. But when I zoom out, of course, they, just, they look white, but they're not white. And then we have assortment of parts that I know people sometimes like, oh, do you have this? And that's why I have everything like kind of spread out right here. Uh, paints, cleaners, and detail sprays, my jack stands, random brackets down there, uh, jugs. And then right here we have my power tools i still need to vacuum this out i haven't brought i haven't brought over my vacuum but all the power tools right here more power tools that bottom area i don't know what i'm gonna use it for my jumpers you know there it goes little by little it's getting there and then out here i have a pile of trash going on um that radiator support and that hood i am going to be using for a customer soon and then I still have a uh, spare plenum that I need to throw on Manny's car so I could drive it over here. I was going to put it up on display. I'm later on probably going to have Vivek polish him up. 
along with that timing cover over there polish them up hang them on the wall as well but there we have it super super exciting i cannot wait to bring ruby in here so um once i get these wired up i'm gonna be shooting a little quick uh reveal video for instagram about the shop so all right so we are back here at the shop i brought ruby over so we'll get her in here once we get all the lighting situated but currently doing the leds and all uh yeah so these leds apparently don't use a ballast anymore so in order to for these to work if i can focus here yeah so in order for these to work uh, we need to get rid of the ballast that's in there the focus is so this ballast is what needs to go um already cut the wires that go to it and out of it so apparently these are the hot ones and they go to need to go to the black wire because that's a hot one the green one is the ground and then the white is the neutral so the white one uh, it's pretty complicated the two yellow ones are coming out from this end and i had to cut them from there and connect them directly to the to the white one and then the two the four hot ones that were connected right here i had to cut them right there and connect them all four of them directly to the main hot wire so it's basically exactly how it is while on a car when you're going from hids to leds so right now it's all done up i'm gonna put it back put one of these in test it out hopefully everything comes out fine all right so we got one in let's test it out Hopefully it works. Ooh, look at that. Way brighter. Hell yeah. So we got one in. Definitely lights up. Look at the wheels. Really well lit. But unfortunately, I think on this one, it's all burned up from the inside, so I can't do nothing about that one. I was trying to fit it in and wondering why it wasn't going in. But that's basically why. LEDs. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest these two and do the wiring on those and so this one's going to be missing one bolt but that's plenty of light already than what it was and we are done with the led lighting on the bottom as you guys can see it is well lit now definitely looks so much nicer but as you guys can see it looks so much brighter here and then yeah we have that up there it looks pretty plain and simple, but this looks so much nicer with the white lights, the white LED lights instead of the orange yellowish bulbs that look like that. So you guys can see the difference lining up there and the bright white down here. Definitely makes a huge, huge difference. And there we have it, look at that. The bright white LEDs lighting up Ruby. You see the pearl reflection, huh? That cinematic clip. Sorry, guys. So it is nighttime now. Recording. With the chair. So he's going to be getting all the shots now here during the night. Way better than uh, doing it earlier in the day, how we had it. We even got uh, Mars's polish timing cover up there now. And then I brought the other lip and barrel that I had at my house. I did want to bring a couple posters that I had over there at home, but apparently I forgot them. So. We're gonna make it work with what we got. No, instead I'm gonna do it like this. Try your All right. Ruby is gonna be parked here from now on. Look at that. Thumbnail right here. Wait. Hey, yellow lighting got, has got to go. But we're gonna be putting that hexagon lights in and it's definitely gonna look so much nicer. But for now, there we have it. And I have enough space to put one more car in here. And then I have plenty of parking out here. As you guys can see, I probably fit up to three more cars right here out front. But for now, Ruby's new resting spot going to be right here at the shop. So whenever you guys come to get work done, you guys will be able to check her out. All right, guys. So we are done for today. Shout out to Luxure filming the video review video so you guys are going to see a cinematic video for youtube separately because the cinematic one has the wide angle how you guys see it right now 
and he looks amazing on the camera. But we're trying to do a Instagram reveal video first. So he has to record it in wide angle and then he has to zoom it in for uh, the real version, which is uh, more zoomed in. So you guys will see a cinematic video in widescreen. On Instagram, you guys will see a uh, real version of it. So it's gonna be a little more up close, but there we have it. Shop is basically done, all ready to go. Uh, later on, we're like I said, we're gonna add the hexagon lights, but that's it. But that is gonna be the end of today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely a whole process just to get everything done to the point where it's at right now. And you guys saw the whole from beginning to end. But like I said, we have this giant wall up here there where I wanna fill up with people's uh, posters of people's cars. So if you guys have a poster of your car, send it out to me. I'll drop a PO box uh, address down below where you guys can send that. And then I'll hang it up on the wall because we have this giant wall that I wanna fill up with people's cars. So, so now that I have a shop, if you guys ever want any work done, let me know. Wraps, wire tucks, uh, engine work, this is air suspension, whatever it is that you guys want. Basically anything car related. So if you guys need any work done, let me know. We have the shop here in Santa Barbara. So again, thank you guys for always supporting the channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.